Hello, hello everyone! Today we're taking a look at custom clothing and character mods, trying to expand upon what the game already offers for character customization, as well as some new clothing mods that either add new clothes or change already existing clothes to look better or be more functional. Before we begin, I want to thank you all for the support on the channel, and thank you for supporting Kato Phoenix for her lovely artwork on today's video. Now let's dive in and pimp our character, shall we? This is the other half of the antique armory mod we covered in last week's video. Currently there are 5 pieces of armor within the mod. There is 2 forms of a banded helmet, that being the traditional crusader style and a Norse viking style of banded helm. In addition there is also a crusading knight style of great helm. Each of the helmets are valuable and provide a solid amount of defense. The banded helms both provide 100% protection on the head, while the great helm provides 100% protection on the head and 50% protection on the neck. Combine this with the chain shirt, which provides 100% protection on the entire arms, chest, stomach, groin, and upper thighs, as well as a 25% neck protection, so you'll boost that neck up to 75% total. These add up some quite impressive protection values in my opinion. Now this mod gets even better though, and provides a nice use for metal working. Using wire and pliers you can craft metal rings. Using these metal rings you can either repair the chain armor you find in the world or if you have a high enough level you can craft your own chainmail armor. And speaking of finding chainmail, if you want to find this and the equipment and tools for it, search storage areas and homes for your armor and search hardware spawn points for the wire and pliers. Once you have these you can easily create or repair your armor. The biggest downside as of right now is the lack of pants to complete the set. Hopefully there will be more armor added soon, such as a full set of plate to go with the helms. Keep in mind however that these armor sets are pretty hefty and bulky. They will place a steep run modifier and a decent combat speed modifier on you. The trade off is you can afford to take a blow or two if you're fully armored, which will let you get away with it. Overall Stahlhansch, I enjoy the mod I look forward to seeing how you expand upon it and antique armory. Much like last week where we covered Brita's gun pack, now we move on to their armor pack. To start, be on the lookout anywhere there is armories, gun stores, places like police stations, the military base, police vehicles. These are typically where you'll find this tactical gear. This mod adds around 30 new items to the game ranging from packs for carrying loot, glasses and goggles, helmets, armored clothing and more. While this equipment certainly isn't the most common in the vanilla game, playing maps such as Raven Creek or Erie Country which add a high amount of military and police loot points, you can certainly certainly find plenty of choice items for your character. Overall the equipment is modeled well and there's a nice variety of loot to find within the game. Nice job Britta, pair it with their gun mod so you can look cool while you light up the zombies. This mod is really damn simple, like so simple even Forrest Gump could understand it. Do you ever get tired of trying to repair a piece of clothing, but it turns out you don't have the right equipment needed to tailor it? Well thanks to Star, now each piece of clothing will show under the modifiers, condition, insulation what the clothing material is. Now you'll no longer have to guess if the item is denim, cotton, or leather. This is also useful for finding things that you need to rip apart for said materials. A nice, small, but very helpful change. Good job! Are you tired of looking like a hobo that just climbed out of a New York subway car? All because you had the audacity to repair your damaged clothing? Well thanks to Elder Wolf 047, now this is no longer an issue. When you repair the damaged area, the hole disappears, and instead of being replaced with an ugly looking patch, it's back to the item's original material. It may not regain its original protection values, but it does make you look a lot less hideous while you run around in the apocalypse. Now the only complaint I have is it doesn't seem to work sometimes with padding. 
It definitely worked when I patched the hole, but adding padding to it showed the big ugly patches. But otherwise, thanks Elder Wolf, your mod's very helpful for at least repairing damaged bits of armor. Are you a fan of Resident Evil? Or maybe Persona is more your cup of tea? Well, this mod adds six new hairstyles to the character creator that can be selected, and some of which even spawn on the zombies. Starting with my personal favorite, we'll go with the Redfield, which is modeled after the original Resident Evil 2's Claire Redfield. It's a pretty nice rendition. Then we've got Jill Valentine. While it's definitely closer to the remakes, Jill, it's not bad. The one I dislike most is the Oliveira. While it does look good, I really don't like how they made Carlos look like a shaggy dog in RE3 make. Then we got the Fool and Athena, two hairstyles modeled after Persona characters. I don't know anything about these characters to say much, but they do look cool, however. The last hairstyle is called Goth, which it has that pulled back and up goth look. Reminds me of Abby from NCIS, which is pretty cool. This one can only be worn on females, however. Overall, these hairstyles are modeled pretty well, and they even have hat variants, which is cool. Nice work, Spongy. You ever look at the bulletproof vest in the game and wonder, how the hell does that have such a low defense? There is no way in hell a zombie's gonna claw or bite through a thick layer of Kevlar if a bullet doesn't punch right through it. Well, this mod seeks to improve the three types of vests found in the game, as well as a variety of hazmat and military related clothing. And as well as adding fabric types to most of the effective items, so you can now repair them as well, which is certainly a nice change. Now there is a good pile of changes, I'm not going to discuss every single one, but check the mod link or read the item stats. Some highlights include the fact that vests now have 100% protection from bites and scratches, the balaclava now has increased protection stat as well as protecting both the head and neck, the civvy vest has been retextured and looks pretty nice now, and is adding new spawn points for the balaclavas, gas mask, and bulletproof vest. Overall, Memorath? I enjoy the mod, and I definitely agree there are some changes that needed to logically be made. I think this just about covers a good variety of clothing and customization mods. If I missed any that you think I should have covered, then feel free to let me know. There's a few mods I left out due to them either not working at all, or just something I couldn't recommend or shouldn't recommend. Like the real body mod, which adds nudity, but only for the female models, which is just kind of creepy to me. But overall, I hope you've enjoyed, and thank you for the support. Once again, be sure to check the artist's workout down below. This has been Core, and I'll see you next time.